Well, hey crafty friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming and in this video, I'm gonna show you the things that you need to grab as soon as you see them appear in your local Dollar Tree store or Dollar Tree Plus for our summer crafting. Uh, what I've found in the past is that um, I'll see something on the shelf and I'll think I'll get it next time and then I won't see it again that year. And this is a perfect example of that. So we're gonna come back to this at the very end. That's the one thing you, well there's two, <laughs> that you absolutely should grab if you see them. Um, so let's see, where to even start? As you are hopping on, say hello. Let me know where you're watching from. Feel free to sprinkle. If you do not have a Dollar Tree store in your area, I'm very sorry. Uh, I have uh, noticed that one day, the couple of Dollar Trees near me will have absolutely nothing good. And then the next week, they'll have everything I'm looking for. So, um, and each store is slightly different. My stores are pretty messy and hard to find things. But um, anyway, so some of these items you might also be able to find at Dollar General. Okay, well, for summer crafting, let's start with this. Dollar Tree always has, in the summer, these little bottles that have different seashells on them. And the seashells are great themselves for craft projects. But also last year I had a summery two-tiered stand in my kitchen and I had these adorable little bottles. I pulled the labels off of them. One setting on each level and they looked pretty cute. So I think get seashells if you possibly can. Um, the other thing is this rope just appeared again at my Dollar Tree store. And I say my Dollar Tree, I'm just referring to the one that's closest to me. Um, but I didn't see it much during the winter. So we will definitely be using this kind of rope over the summer. We'll also be using this. This is just the nautical rope in cream. Um, okay. <laughs> Another thing that I think is really good to grab is a couple packages of this. It's not really beach glass. I don't know. It's some kind of glass uh, that you can get at Dollar Tree. And it has like two colors of blue and then the, the white. When, when it pops up and you see it, grab two or three bags, but be looking for bags that have smaller pieces rather than bigger. This size and smaller is more craftable. And the thing is, you can use it from year to year to year. I'm literally just pulling most of this stuff out of my um, tub of beach crafting supplies. I already had all those seashells. I already had this. I already had a lot of this. Okay, this is another thing I want to show you. I wish I had the original package, but I don't. So this stuff comes in these two colors, the blue and then the sort of, I don't know what to call this color, light greenish sea color. Um, it is usually available during the summer and it's with, um, with like the moss and the, those little round glass pebbles and that kind of thing. So grab a couple greens and a couple of blues. I know I have more of this hanging out somewhere, just not sure where, but it's great for a lot of things. Like um, next time I see it at my store, I'm gonna get more so that I can fill this project up a little higher. And this, I know it's hard to see. This was a project that we did glass etching and it says even the wind and the waves obey him. It's beautiful design that's very hard to see on uh, a video. So you want to grab that. They also sometimes will have sand. So grab some of that. Um, and then usually they'll have all kinds of different little glass containers. And last year on my two-tiered stand, which I'll dig out some pictures and put them here in the comments, 
Um, I filled these three with a little bit of sand and I put some of those battery operated votives in them and I put them on my two tiered stem in the kitchen and they were awesome. So they're usually slightly different each year, but heck, for $1.25 a piece, and this had some little doodad on it, I don't know, I pulled it off. Um, they look great on a two-tiered stand. So get that for sure if you see it. And chances are, if you're thinking, oh my word, I can't afford to get all this stuff you're saying, it kind of appears a little bit at a time as we're going from, from late winter into spring. And then once you're in summer, the weirdest thing happens. It all disappears and they immediately start stocking the shelves with fall. <laughs> so you kind of have to buy a season ahead and buy it when you see it. Because it's almost a guarantee that if you go back a few days later looking for that same thing, they won't have it anymore. Okay, this is another thing um, that I recommend that you grab one of each. This is just white tulle and sort of a aqua, or I don't know what you call this color, tool. So grab some of that. Um, of course, every year they have awesome napkins. This is what I just saw recently. They had some beautiful designs last year too. So grab a package of both the, um, the what do they call these? guest napkins and beverage napkins. Grab some of those and they, they probably will have multiple designs, but this is this year. Um, this is something they had last year that I especially loved. They had these little packages. This is like a plastic or a resin or something shaped like a starfish and it just comes in a little package that looks just very much like this. And these are sand dollars. These were great on my two-tiered stand last year, and we also added them to some other projects. But one thing that we did last year that was really fun is I turned these into stamps. You can see the paint is still on them. So I put them in the medium and used them as a stamp. I just glued wine corks to them. I'll probably replay that video at some point. Um, so grab, grab these. Stay with me to the end though, because I'm going to show you the things, two things, that if you see them, you need to grab them immediately. Because otherwise, you'll be asking me <laughs> later in the season if I have any that I could send to you. This is what happened last year. Okay, we're going to do lots of burlap banners for beachy themes for 4th of July for Memorial Day, just summery stuff. And Dollar Tree has three different shapes. And these banners each have six flags in them. So whatever shape you like the best, grab a couple. Also, I don't know if you knew that Dollar Tree not only has the white crafter square stretch canvases, they also have black and they have them in multiple sizes. Grab one or two of these because we'll definitely use those for some projects. And if you see these, I do know that Dollar Tree and Dollar General both carry these. They're called self-adhesive wall tiles. These are with like the hardware stuff, with the nails and um, masking tape and all that kind of stuff. That's where these would be found in the local store that I go to. But grab a few of these because I'm working on a project with this right now and we'll do lots of fun things over the summer. Okay, this is another thing that you should grab. This is a starfish reef form that um, one of my friends and followers just sent me. So if it was you, thank you so much. I'll be reaching out to you. She also sent some fabulous napkins and some other little goodies to me. Um, I have not seen these in my store yet, but I would probably grab a couple of these because we'll do some fun stuff with that. Um, this is new this year. Two-piece hanging decor. And so there's a cute little starfish or sand dollar and a starfish. 
And if you don't like it the way this is, uh, it could be put on the top of a bottle or something or hanging off your counters or on a knob. Uh, but you could, at, at the very least, take it apart and use these awesome colored beads. Okay, I'm going to do this and then I'm going to get out those things that you have to get. So right now, I am starting to work on this idea of making a flip-flop summer roof for the front door. I, I won't be the first person to ever have done it, but I'll be putting my own unique spin on it and doing this as a tutorial. And these are the flip-flops that I have found so far. Okay, what I really want are the 4th of July ones. Um, I, I remember last year they had some that were blue and white stars and they had some that had red stripes. So I want those because I want to do a patriotic uh, flip-flop wreath. So that's what I'll be watching for. But I want to give you a tip on these. Um, when I was at my Dollar Tree, all of these flip-flops were in a big box and it was a mess. They weren't hanging up or organized. They will be later in the summer because they sell a bazillion of these. Um, so I just took what I could find. But if you're going to do a wreath, Using flip-flops, choose small as the size. Uh, this is medium, and it's kind of big. I am thinking, though, that there are other things that we could do with this. So be on the lookout for cute flip-flops. You're going to need at least four or five pairs, or possibly more. So. It's not going to be a $1 craft, but it's going to be something really special and unique. Okay, let me grab these things that I want to show you. All right. Last year, these ceramic starfish were plentiful. I have about eight of them. They are so pretty. I put them on in all kinds of different things and on my two-tiered stand. So they're glazed. This little puppy right here was not plentiful. And I can't even tell you how many of you guys were saying, I can't find that blue starfish. And it is super cute. So, uh, I don't care if there's still snow on the ground. If you see this at your Dollar Tree, grab it. Grab a couple or three or four. <laughs> These are so dang cute. They look adorable together. And this one was hard to find last year. This is new this year. I did not see these last year, so I don't know if maybe they did exist and I just never saw them. But look at these. So they're hollow. They're just little rounds. This one is two colors of blue. It's a super cute design. And this one is very similar, a little more purpley, to this blue starfish. I don't know what it's supposed to be. A stylized artichoke or the head of a peony or something. But these are going to be great shelf sitter items. So, if you see either one of these, grab a couple. Um, because when I was at my store yesterday, there were only two of this one left and three of this one. So I took two and two. <laughs> I decided to be generous and leave one behind. But they are just starting to put stuff out for summer and beach. And these were gone already. So be on the lookout for that. Especially be on the lookout for this. And then there's, of course, a hundred other things that you should get at your local Dollar Tree. All kinds of great wood shapes. Um, they have all kinds of cute mermaid stuff. They have great summer fabrics. Um, but I was sort of keeping with this blue and blue and, and beach theme when I pulled this stuff out. Now I have to put it away. Um, so I just wanted to give you the heads up of what you should grab when you see it. 
and um, and grab it a season ahead because by the time it's summer, they'll be doing pumpkins and acorns. They won't have this good summer stuff. So you just you have to get it in the spring. All right. Well, I hope that you guys liked this little summary. And if you did, I would love it if you would sprinkle this video. Um, if your Dollar Tree or Dollar Tree Plus does not have this stuff right now, mine didn't. Most of that stuff that I showed you I already had from last year. Uh, just be patient. And I find that when I am out and about and I see a Dollar Tree, I'll just stop. I'm not going to necessarily make a specific trip just to Dollar Tree to look. But... Just be on the lookout, and when you see some of these beachy things, grab them right away. And if your store doesn't ever get these, um, I don't know what to say about that. They don't, there's been stuff that I've really wanted, and the stores in my area never carried them. You might be able to order online, and let me tell you how that works with Dollar Tree. Um, you can order, but they usually make you order a case, which is 12. But the lady who runs one of the local Dollar Trees here is super friendly, and she told me that I could order a case of online of whatever I wanted, keep the ones that I want, and return the rest of them to the store. And this store that I go to frequently is cool with that. So if you can't find these early in the season, order a case of this. Keep three and return eight. Um, to your local store uh, so that you can get what you're going to watch. All right, well, I hope this has been good information for you. I don't know if you're like me, but um, I am so ready for summer. Once I take my Easter stuff down, I'm starting to think about beach. <laughs> so I'm going to slowly be converting some of my glass containers and different little doodads that I have in house from Easter to, um, to beach. And I will post pictures. We're, we'll also be doing a lot of fun uh, patriotic crafts for Memorial Day and Fourth of July. So check out that department at your local store too. All right, well have a blessed and wonderful rest of your day. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Don't hesitate to ask questions and I'll see you guys later.